How's it going YouTube? My name's Elvin Ninja 7 your resident Mistweaver Monk, and you guys have been asking for me to react to the new Master of Harmony hero talent tree that's coming in War Within. And guys, I have not looked this talent tree, but I've heard really good things. I've actually heard kind of mixed things. Either people are kind of eh about it, or they're very excited about it. So I, I literally do not know what to expect. So let's just dive into it. So for starters, uh, on the other one, we have a whole new ability, but this does not look like an actual casted ability because uh, it doesn't have like a, a cooldown or anything, but let's read it. Okay, so Aspect of Harmony, and for us Mistweavers, we store vitality from 10% of the damage that we deal and 20% of our healing. So we store vitality, I don't know what that means, but for 10 seconds after casting Thunder Focus T, your spells and abilities draw upon the stored vitality to deal 25% additional healing over 8 seconds. Okay, so it sounds to me like for the whole 10 second window after popping your Thunder Focus T, you won't be doing 25% additional healing. That would be broken for 10 seconds, imagine. But it sounds like depending on how much vitality you're able to store, it'll kind of add that um, as a bonus 25% additional healing until you run out of the vitality that you have stored up. So it kind of sounds like how the seedling trinket works where uh, the seedling, you just dump heals into the seedling and it'll add bonus healing onto the, the healing that it's spreading out until it runs out and then it'll just disperse the, the normal amount of healing that you're doing. So all in all, pretty cool, but it doesn't really have as much draw for me so far as the other one, the Conduit of the Celestials, but let's keep going. So manifestation chi burst and chi wave deal 100 percent increased damage and healing okay okay so chi burst doing double the damage and healing i mean it already does like really solid throughput or like healing as a one shot every 30 seconds in raid i mean it's it's not really that competitive right now with the all the vivifies that we do but like whenever i got mana when I was kind of running low on mana, I would press it because it's free. It doesn't cost any mana, and it, it just shoots through everyone. If you can aim it right, you can get really solid healing from it. So pretty dope. Honestly, really cool. I think that's actually really good for Brewmasters, too, because we we share this talent tree with Brewmasters, and they they pop Chi Wave on cooldown, I'm pretty sure, in Mythic Plus. They, they just slam that every 15 seconds. So pretty cool. Honestly, that could if you can line this up in raid on stacked fights, Chi Burst can slam and might actually be worth adding into our rotation every 30 seconds. Very cool. All right, let's move on. So this is a, a split node. So we can either take Purified Spirit, which says when Aspect of Harmony ends, so after this uh, 10 second window, after we pop our Thunder Focus T, so 10 seconds after we pop our, our Thunder Focus T, uh, any remaining vitality is released as healing over eight seconds, which is split among nearby targets. Uh, how's that going to work out? So you're going to, let's see, you're going to pop your Thunder Focus T and you're going to be doing bonus healing, like maybe in your Yulon window in a raid environment or, you know, something on, on a pool in Mythic Plus. And then you're going to be doing bonus healing until you run out of that vitality that you've been storing up, which it doesn't look like it stores up a ton. And then this talent just says if there's any leftover, any vitality left over, you just release it over eight seconds, um, split among nearby targets. I mean, look, I'm, I'm going to have to test this, but it looks, this sounds to me like we're, gonna, we're not going to be able to store up enough vitality within the, the 20 seconds, basically, after we press Thunder Focus T. Um, or before we press Thunder Focus T, but after we've, we've used our Aspect of Harmony, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to store up enough to where we would have any left over. But hey, maybe in raids, you know, the, the one Thunder Focus T you press uh, between your ramps, you might have a little bit of bonus healing that you, you just couldn't spit out in, in that 10 seconds. So it might have some use, but that one sounds kind of, uh, you know, bland to me. All right, but next is Harmonic Gambit. During Aspect of Harmony, so during that 10 second buff, Rising Sun Kick, Blackout Kick, and Tiger Palm also withdraw vitality to damage enemies. Okay, so that's very cool for Mythic Plus. Um, you know, you pop Thunder Focus T on your Rising Sun Kick. Now, um, any of that stored vitality that you have from this uh, Aspect of Harmony is gonna be just bursting out a little bit of damage. Very cool, it probably won't do a lot, but I'm guessing it'll do um, just bonus damage. Pretty cool so far, but let's move on. So, so Balanced Stratagem. 
Casting a physical spell or ability increases the damage and healing of your next fire or nature spell uh, ability by 5% and vice versa, stacks up to 5 Okay, so if you alternate between physical and either fire or nature, which the fire thing seems like it's added in for Brewmaster. I don't know if, if Mistweavers have anything that's fire damage. Not not spells that I can think of. But um, for Mistweavers, it sounds like if you weave in like a Vivify and then go back to doing a, like a, a damaging spell like Rising Sun Kick, it'll just do 5% more damage. So... I don't know, and I guess if you if you do a couple um, physical spells, so if you're just fist weaving a bunch, then you come back and do a vivify. I guess that will do 25% bonus healing. So that's actually pretty dope. I mean, um, once about every 10 seconds, we're already using that vivacious vivification proc. So having this stacked up to five times could be pretty cool. I mean, it's going to be a free talent that we get, so might as well have it. But moving on to Tiger's Vigor slash Roar from the Heavens. So Tiger's Vigor says... Uh, casting Tiger's Lust reduces the main cooldown on roll by five seconds. I mean, maybe you take this in like a raid environment. Um, we'd have to read the other one to see if it's competitive. But casting Tiger's Lust just gives you five seconds off of a roll charge. Uh, I mean, it's nice. It's quality of life, I guess. It doesn't have like super abuse. You can't really abuse this. I mean, maybe you can abuse it in like PvP just to have a lot more mobility at your disposal. You could roll then Tiger's Lust, then roll shortly after that. So, uh, But honestly, a Mythic Plus, we don't really roll that often during packs. Um, and then also in Raid, we just kind of... I mean, I guess in Raid, it could be helpful to have more roll charges at your disposal throughout a fight. But this, but honestly, that probably doesn't have much use. All right. Roar from the Heavens, a very cool name. Tiger's Lust grants 20% speed to up to two allies near its target. See, this one I like a lot more because it's guaranteed value. Whereas this other one, you could cast Tiger's Lust after using Roll and sit on that, that charge. You know, you, you get that five seconds off the cooldown, get that cooldown back, sit on this, the, the thing, but then Roar from the Heavens, you use it on yourself, you, your tank, and a melee DPS are run into that next pack quicker. So pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, Endless Drought. Endless Drought, very dramatic name, but let's read it. So uh, Brewmasters gain a Celestial Brew Charge. Kind of... Celestial Brews their shields. That's actually kind of sick. Uh, and then, okay, I, okay, Mistweaver, Thunder Focus T has one additional charge, man. What do we do with that? I don't know. Okay, so, the, wait, okay, so we have two charges of Thunder Focus T. So, oh, what do we do with it? I'm guessing with this, if you take this, like, in a raid build, you... Pop you launch no 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 you pop thunder focus T you're gonna use your this bonus for bonus healing um, and then pop you launch so that you're doing that bonus healing and you use those two thunder focus T charges on like renewing mist enveloping mist and then you can pop another one during your Yulon ramp and spit out two more enveloping mist but that's actually not even that good because you don't even need to spit out two more because we have peer into peace now. So, okay, here's what you could do is you could use one Thunder Focus T before your Yulon ramp, just like we normally do, do two Renewing Mist or Renewing Mist and Enveloping Mist. And then um, during that 30 second interval of downtime between your ramps, you could pop double Thunder Focus T to spit out a couple really quick Enveloping Mists, uh, do double Renewing Mist, and then do another one and maybe get like a crit buff from um, Secret Infusion too. So honestly, pretty cool. Or just, just cycle a bunch of... Rising Sun Kicks and Mythic Plus. Hold on. This this could be really cool. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, maybe... Does it mean it gives you another charge or does it mean it just buffs another spell? I think another charge means that it would give us another Thunder Focus. Y'all, my mind is like blowing up over what you could do. So in Mythic Plus, you, you could take like T of... The T of Plenty, T of Serenity talents that give you bonus spells that are buffed and just like stack up a bunch of spells that are are buffed. And that could be pretty cool. But I don't know. This is something that I'm going to have to test if there's anything that we can kind of like abuse with this. This is a talent um, that seems like it could be abused. OK, I'm just going to say it. These other ones haven't really excited me that much. But this one, this one seems like we could probably find a way to kind of just make this a little stupid. Um, even if it's just like the lowest bar, the, the, the lowest you could get with this is just getting a couple of free vivifies, like mana free vivifies. That's like the, 
the baseline and then the sky's the limit from there. So pretty sick talent there. Um, let's read on though. So mantra of purity when cast on yourself. So is this a spell? Uh, no, no, no. Okay. So when cast on yourself, your single target healing spells heal for 10% more and grant a heal over 15 seconds. Okay. So depending on how strong that heal over 15 seconds is, this could just make us very tanky, um, or just more survivable. I shouldn't say tanky, but pretty cool. Probably not that useful. You, you don't really just sit there and spam vivifies on yourself unless you're doing your escape from reality, um, like mana cheese and in raid, but I don't know. It's just bonus healing on yourself. Probably not bad. Mantra of tenacity, though. Uh, fortifying brew grants. Whoa, 20% stagger, though. Hold up. I mean, look, unless things, okay, unless there's like a mythic plus mechanic that one shots you through your fortifying brew, this honestly doesn't really do much. But man, okay, this this has some serious implications. They're they're adding in stagger to 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 broom to mist weavers, which we we keep saying add stagger to revival or just like give us a new stagger cooldown. That'd be sick. But, but okay, pretty cool. I'm a fan, although it doesn't really do much. But then reading the other thing, the brewmasters gain uh, fortifying brew also applies a cheek cocoon on them. That's sick. Okay, so this is mantra of tenacity, huge check mark that's awesome okay this looks like frost a frost thing um but overwhelming force pretty cool name probably does damage let's read it so rising sun kick blackout kick and tiger palm damage enemies in a line damage enemies in a line through their primary target what does this mean okay like i know what it means but like what does what's it implying so if I rising sun kick one guy, will it shoot the same amount of damage through everything behind it? Or does overwhelming force have like a, a static number it does every time? So if I rising sun kick for 100,000, it'll hit everyone behind for like 10,000 or something. I don't know, but dude, this is sick. Okay, you stack up t like 12 blackout kicks, release them all and shoot lines through everything. This is going to be so much fun to play around, even if it does small numbers. I hope the visual is really cool of us shooting like feet, like little feet through things. That would be sick. But this sounds like a cool talent that I really want to play with. Overwhelming Force is probably my favorite one. And then it would probably be Endless Drought and so far Mantra of Tenacity. This is amazing. If it, I'll have to test the numbers. But this is dope, like very cool. So it, if you're watching whoever came up with this, you're awesome. This is sick. Okay, let's read on. So Path of Resurgence. Chi burst, in, chi burst increased vitality stored by 25. Is that English? Hold on. Chi burst probably increases vitality stored by 25% uh, for 10 seconds. So um, what you could do is you could probably Thunder Focus T use the 10 second window of being buffed and then right once that 10 second window ends you get chi burst to gain bonus vitality stored very good very practical use and since chi burst is on a 30 second window thunder focus is on a thunder uh, 30 second window you could time that very well so very cool talent could probably be cheesed a little bit uh, but then way of the way of a thousand strikes very cool name rising sun kick blackout kick and tiger palm contribute 50% additional vitality. Okay, so that's just good for Mythic Plus if you're, um, or if you're, I guess, Fist Weaving in Raid. But um, I don't know, the other one sounds dope because you could store more healing, you could do it on a 30 second interval with your Thunder Focus C. So uh, moving on though, Clarity of Purpose. Casting, uh, that's Brewmasters. Casting Vivify restores vitality, increased based, increased based recent Gust of Mist. What? Okay. Casting Vivify stores vitality. And that amount of vitality is increased based on your recent Gustamus. I don't know. This one's worded a little poorly, but um, that's just how I'm going to guess it goes. So um, we don't really play around Gustamus. So if this has to do with the value the Gustamus healed, then that's um, probably bad for us. But if this has to do with the amount of um, well, I guess we will play around Mastery and War Within. So, hey, that's actually kind of cool then. 
because uh, we're going to be getting free ones from our Rising Sun Kick. So this could actually work really well in a Rising Mist build because we're going to be just kicking up a lot of Gust of Mist. Vivify will just store more into our uh, Vitality. Our Aspect of Harmony will heal more. Probably plays really well with the build, but not very exciting of a talent. But this is the capstone, the, the final talent. Hopefully it's juicy. So when Aspect of Harmony heals, when that 10 second buff is healing, it has a chance to spread to a nearby ally. When you directly heal an affected target, it has a chance to intensify. So if I find the target, this Aspect of Harmony's healing, does it just heal one person? Um... Does it say, drop on the stored vitality. At your spells and abilities draw upon the stored vitality to deal 25% additional healing. Okay, that's just weird how it's worded. Okay, so we're, we're going to have to find out who Aspect of Harmony is healing some way. And um, take they take 10% increased damage or healing from you. Okay, so if I just basically, kind of like how we follow Chi Harmony, if I could stack Chi Harmony and Aspect of Harmony on someone, then I would be the Master of Harmony. Then I would do insane healing to that single target. Um, so all in all, pretty cool. I don't think it's as exciting as the other one, but the other one has like other Celestials coming to fight alongside you and buffing your spells. This one is, I mean, it definitely could be as powerful. I don't know the power levels of each of these because they're very reliant on the numbers, the tuning that goes into these but this one has a lot of promise from the talents that i've said before if this if we can stack this up from our you learn ramps and get big juicy bursts after our thunder focus t this is going to be insane chi burst is going to be good in raid again i mean it's never bad but it's going to be good especially if we use um what is it uh this talent the path of resurgence it's going to have a place in our rotation in our one minute cycle of ulons and then this talent is very cool. Overwhelming force. We're going to shoot lines with our kicks, our tiger palms, our fist weaving is going to go nuts in Mythic Plus. All in all, this, I mean, this, I'll, I'll admit it. This excites me to play War Within. Um, so did the other one. Whoever is in charge of making these monk talent trees did an amazing job from a Mistweaver standpoint. I pro I don't know any of the other communities, like um, they how they look at these. I don't know if you guys probably looked at these and hate them. I don't know. I formed my own opinion. I, I hope it didn't you know, make anyone mad watching this video. But uh, like I said, you guys really wanted me to react to this. So I just wanted to react to it for the first time in front of a camera. But guys, thank you so much for all the support that you guys have given me lately. I mean, you're literally letting me live my dreams, especially these guys on the screen, the patrons of this channel. So I just cannot thank you enough for all the support that you've given me. Uh, but make sure that you guys hit the like button if you like this video. If you like this talent tree, let me know what you like about it down below. If you're excited to play War Within, so am I. So make sure that you guys hit subscribe and go check out my Twitch. Make sure you're followed there so you can see when I go live uh, because we're gonna be streaming, pushing keys, uh, doing a lot of stuff in season four. And then once uh, War Within comes out, I'll jump on that as well. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned because I'm making the healer guides for the Mythic Plus dungeons for season four. I'm putting my all into these and I think they're coming out really good. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But I'll see you in those. Until then, take care.